This isn't the first full-scale fan activation the network has brought down to South by Southwest, and we think that there couldn't be a more perfect show to highlight at the festival. Um, you know, we knew the nostalgia factor would be a big draw for loyal fans of the series, um, and given that the event is taking place just two weeks prior to our premiere, the timing couldn't be more perfect. We have a number of really exciting experiences. So you're standing here right now in the Lanford Lunchbox where we're serving up iconic food from the series. So we have loose meat sandwiches, we have pies and coffee, we have Canova root beers, so we are refreshing people as they come through after a hot day out at South by Southwest. Uh, then they move on to the Connor household. So you can hang out on the Connor's couch, share a photo from that couch with your friends, move into the kitchen where you can screen print iconic quotes onto tote bags, and then move into Dan's garage where you can kick back on the leather recliner and watch clips from the show. Well, it's been a long process. We initially came up with this concept back in the fall. Um, we knew the show was coming. We knew there were so many iconic moments that we wanted to recreate for fans to experience firsthand. Um, so concept development happened back in the fall, and then we spent the last few months in planning and development along with our partner agency, MKG, to really build a fan experience that nobody will be able to forget. One of the most exciting parts of this entire process has really been sourcing those details that go into building some of the most iconic sets in television. Um, so going out to prop houses, going to um, you know, thrift shops, anywhere where we can find authentic items that maybe you couldn't find in a retail store today, but that really bring that genuine feel to the sets. You know, our goal here is really to highlight the heart and the humor of the show. We know that there are those core fans who have been watching for years and are still watching the original series. Um, we also know that this is a show that the humor um, really stands true today, and we know that this will appeal to a whole new generation of viewers as well. So we wanted to create an experience with those fun and memorable moments that really get people invested into this family um, that really represents so much of America. There have been a lot of questions about uh, Dan's death in the finale, and that will be addressed, and I think everybody will be satisfied with that in the new show. I thought you were dead. Why does everybody else think I'm dead?